All right, team, look we go, Bears. Once again, title, concept, little CR action, strenuous hike, fit pictures, photographs. I'll be down there and I'll give you an update in a couple minutes. Gold Strike Canyon, let's do this. All right, guys, we're going into the canyon. Pretty big group, nine guys here. Weaver, we're all keeping our distance from each other, riding in separate cars to keep everybody safe during the COVID experience. All right, guys, we're getting a little more into the canyon. Gonna start doing some bouldering. Some, this is called geographical or, and geological features. This thing can be running with water in the spring after the rains. Right now, pretty dry. Let's keep Guys, here we are in the canyons. Look at that. Never litter. Always take your stuff out. They call pack it out. They go leave it as you find it. The canyons are getting a little more tense. We got to climb down through this stuff. Or we can go up and around. Look at those epic rocks. Big old hawk or eagles up there soaring. All right, guys. We got to get out in the adventure. Here we go. You think there's any dinosaurs living down there? I think they only come out at night. Kids, we just came from there. We're heading down. We're going to get to the hot springs. Here we go. All right, guys, let's talk some geology. We don't focus that much on geology, but look at this. All this fine sand. What do you think? Is it coming from these rocks breaking down? Or does the water bring it into here? This obviously at some point is a river. Look at that caves. What do you think? Chupacabra in there? Guess what? That's bonus slides. Next week, Halloween, mythological creatures as bonus slides at the end of the week. It's going to be a great week. All right, guys, let's go. Let's keep moving. I might. This guy's whole trees living down here, little micro ecosystems like we talk about. Good job, Weaver. Thing here do. All right, here we go. Doing the fun stuff now. Climbing the ropes. Heading out to that valley. We are going into the depths of the Chupacabra Cave. Ah! Guys, as we talked about on our last Friday's adventure in Durango, late in the summer, early fall, pretty dry out here. Come springtime, you got to be careful. Thunder showers come in, big storm, like I hear in the background. This thing could be a flash flood, so you always got to be aware of your surroundings. Look at this, opening up. Check this out, a little rock slide. I just slid down this. See all that smooth rock? That is from the water flowing down this fast. You do not want to do this hike during a rainstorm. Let's keep going. Just for fun. All right, we got a lot of goat pope here. The coats come through here. What kind of goats live up here, guys? Desert bighorn sheet, according to my science team. Remember, guys, always be safe when rock climbing. Use ropes, proper safety gear like we're doing. This, kids. I thought we said there's no water because no rain. And suddenly we have a spring. Use your inference, hypothesis, guesses. Where do you think that water's coming from? I'll give you an update in a second. All right, the water is coming out, guys. Looks great. Look at this. We got Mountain Man over here. Oh, yeah. Water just disappears back into the earth. These ferns growing right out of the rock. Oh, yeah. It's another clue for you. Up higher, water was cool. I'm now walking through bath warm water. Look at that. Oh, it feels great. What do you think? Where's the water coming from? All right, guys. Notice the change. In geography, more greenery, more water. Somebody look up online whether Native Americans lived in this part. I wonder if any of them lived down in here. Somebody check it out. We're gonna study Native Americans later in the year. What do you think, kids? We made it down all that. Can we make it back up? In You'll, the dark. In the dark. Asterisk. Stepping into a plethora of life. That algae up in there is amazing. Okay. Yeah, little hot tub. Look at this, guys. Hot springs. Where do hot springs come from? Look at this, guys. These are living plants. That is, looks like slime, but that is moss. There's our 
health teacher we talked to early today, or the other day, it depends on when you watch this video. This water is getting hotter as we go, guys. Pretty cool. Time to go swimming. All right, guys. Pretty adventurous hike. When you guys get older, if you have adventurous parents or you're on, get out and explore. This is like a hot shower, that waterfall. Just take a hot shower in that baby. Ugh, that's a lot of water. Guys, I think that's going to be my swimming hole. Now, there's ice cold river over there. I'll tell you the name of it in a minute. Check this out, guys. So I just went from hot water to cold water. This stuff here was all a beach this morning. They had the tent. They're camping here. We finally made it to our destination. This was their campsite this morning. So they had a camp here. What do you guys think? Why would this be not underwater? And then now it is. Interesting. Could it be tied? Could it be? All right, there's Jim Ward, my uh, our coach it's Lake today. Lake Mojave right here. Yep, Lake the, Mojave. The river. What's the name of the river? This is the Colorado River, but this is Lake Mojave. Lake Mojave coming out from the Hoover Dam that used to be called the Boulder Dam. Hoover Dam, what it's called now, is behind that bridge. That's the Pat Tillman Bridge, named after Arizona Cardinal. Your teacher graduated. Oh, we missed Weaver diving. All right, guys, so here's the hypothesis of the day. The prediction, the guess. This water is not connected to the ocean, so tide cannot be the answer. This is similar to when we tried to solve our problem with the health. We got to rule out things. If this is the ocean, and this was a beach this morning and now covered in water, we would think tide. The tide comes in, fills up. Not connected to the ocean. This is actually cold water coming out of a dam, Hoover Dam, ice cold water because it's coming out of the bottom of the dam. So, dam up, stopping water, that's man-made, man and nature working together. And now, the, suddenly, these people's camp is disappearing because the water's rising. What do you think? Last chance to think about it. All right, my friend uh, is going to jump. Now, we always check. You never dive if you don't know. Oh, whoops, he just dove. He just broke the rules. Never dive. Your oh, he did it! Good job. I, I the crack. It's not too bad yet. Oh, he jumped ahead. No. The answer, you got it right. The dam holds back all that lake water where the humans can now monitor the flow of water. So it's humans controlling nature. So they're releasing more water, and that's why that raised up. And these people did not know about it, so they almost lost their tents. That's the end of today's lesson, guys. That was fun. Now I've got to hike back out. It's going to be busy, going to be dark. We'll see you on Monday.